Nature is the origin. Cuenca for me, this is to generate development and change people's mentalities. Nature is the mother and the mother represents love, care and anchoring. Is anchoring. Between the municipalities of La Ceja and Abidjoral, about 60 kilometers from the city of Medellin, is one of the most amazing natural attractions of Antioquia. It is said that people who know this place are completely surprised by the incredible fall of this waterfall. It is the Ox Jump, a charming place that is born of a drop of approximately 80 meters high of the riverbed of the Ox River, and is located within a nature reserve, for which its owners have made enormous efforts for the conservation of the basin of this beautiful river, one of the most precious natural resources, water. Conservation of the Ox River Basin We are currently located in the municipality of Abajoro, the ecopark or nature reserve Ox Jump as it is today, includes the two municipalities of Abajoro and the municipality of La Ceja. We are approximately 60 kilometers from the city of Medellin, and in the nature reserve the Ox Jump we are going to find adventure activities, nature, coffee progress, beer, and all the passionate about nature as such. We are going to find a whole world, or a micro world that is found in this space. It is more a matter of spiritual connection because, as I say, one does not choose the place, the places choose you. And a few years ago I came to live here with my partner. We have a daughter, so as guardians of this place, we have a great mission to conserve the, the Ox Jump Watershed. Alejandro Rivas. Previously the jump was called the Jump of the Devil by our Aborigines as such. But one day comes the myth, the myth is a myth that is all Antioquia as such and says that some oxen fell into the river and Iguazo what followed jumped the ox, from that day he began to have that name and that potential of the jump of the ox. Perhaps one of the greatest virtues of the people who protect this place is to allow tourists to get to know it. Making clear the importance of the conservation of natural resources through a tour that shows the different activities that are carried out there from adventure to agriculture, which are part of the so-called green businesses. A green business is that productive unit that complies with a winning combination that is environmentally responsible, has social inclusion and generates profits in economic income. It is important because it is within tourism to generate responsible tourism. Responsible for whom? For the tourism operator and the tourist who comes to make these tours, because it is an ethical and moral part within the actors who are part of tourism. Serafin Montoya. Well with Kornar we were linked basically by the main milestones that was to conserve the reserve or create that place as a nature reserve and there began as all the contact with them until today, as such they already seen as the reserve, that we had the potential for the reserve obviously already knew all our products that we not only have a part of a forest, but we also have the part of tourism, adventure. We have the part of agricultural products such as coffee, avocado, and we are like in that contact, that is, since we started the process we have had as good participation and we have had as a win-win because obviously when you are in these places, one lives very isolated from the city, we have been in contact with them, that is, 
We have been in communications and we are developing some projects, including coffee and beer projects. And we are moving forward, so they have accompanied us with all the advice. The work here has been very interesting because the Ecopark has a basic principle of environmental conservation, also seeks social inclusion here in the municipality of Abajoral, because it includes those families, those people who live here in the region, so that generates this development. Dynamism and the Ecopark is an agent of local development here in the municipality that is fundamental in the process of articulating the green business. Well the idea of the business was born first of all, we were doing a lot of tourism, but a very hobby tourism and we decided to have a more established project in the Ox Jump which is basically, I grew up here, my grandfather lived in front of it and I grew up with this image of the Ox Jump and one day we said, how good to have this place, between talking and talking and working a lot. We had the opportunity to have the place and once we started with the tourism project, the main objective that we have always wanted is the protection of the Ox River Basin, so this great project was born to turn it into a reserve and show the world that we have to take care of it, and that water is something that is invaluable and that we have to put it like a car. So we joined together with Cornar that has accompanied us in the process of the reserve and we are betting on the natural conservation of the place. And to raise awareness among the people who come here because more than just coming to enjoy the place and to get to know and do adventures that they have never done. The idea is also to make them click. This place has all the magic and potential so we need to create an awareness that we understand that this here is a water sanctuary. Because all types of water come here. This water from the waterfall that we are going to see next is born in Mesopotamia and they are also a family of waters. We really need to understand the value of water. Well, the most important thing to understand how to conserve water today is to teach people to be conscious. That is, to be conscious in everything they do, in being in nature, in being in the city and managing the natural resources and not so much say that we are going to conserve, we have to go further, that is. It is not so much about conserving but we need to act to have more water sources, that is, we should not conserve a resource but, we have to start planting more and planting and planting and before that to generate new natural resources, so the best way to teach the clients or to teach the tourists or the friends that visit us is that we do everything with conscience, that is to say that we use the resources truly that something is happening and that it hurts a lot so it is more the conscience of the people, to conserve the system simply because it is what we take advantage of to use them responsibly, because obviously we have to look at what we are doing now and what we are leaving to our future generations, so it is important that Kornar conserves and encourages the community to conserve these spaces that are important for our local development. So, part of that is our mission. That we can understand that this is a sanctuary. That people come and connect with this place. that they go home with that little click and that they can begin to conserve water in their homes to take care of all that contact with nature. Here in the Eka Park there is a tourist tour that is a tour in the park where they go to the Ox Jump, which is a very beautiful waterfall and people make this awareness from the tour process. Well, we are going to start the trail that lasts exactly one and a half kilometers. 
We are going to find some points like the camping area and then we are going to start descending to enter the primary forest that is a totally native forest. That is why we also did the whole process to conserve it as a reserve to become a reserve and finally we will arrive at the waterfall. Alejandra this is where we arrive and what is the meaning of the elf in the forest? Well, here we already started the entrance to the primary forest. This is a house of an elemental that is made naturally and since I have that privilege and that gift, you can say to see them and to connect with them. Once I told everyone here, hey, we have to make a place, a sanctuary for this gnome because he is one of the guardians to enter. So whenever I come with people I do the tours. Here this is a mandatory station to explain and to ask permission for respect. Whether we believe or not the ideal is to do it. Ask permission, ready, then we continue. Well we are perhaps in one of the most beautiful activities here in the reserve. This is the starting platform for an activity called Via Ferrata. This is for people who are not professional climbers, can climb the rock with special protective equipment. Now we have the helmet. This harness. And we have two slings. Because the idea is that the Via Ferrata is a vertical anchor to the rock, so each time you are ascending you are going up a step. You are adjusting yourself. You are holding on to each step but they cannot be loose. That is, when you are going to take a step the other one cannot be loose. You will never be loose because it is dangerous. In any case there is a plan B in case someone gets loose because of nerves or whatever. But then when you take a step, you let go and then you go up. We have this activity here including the canopy, including the trail, which is called the Pantagra Crossing, because it is a tribute to those ancestors, to the Pantagra, and the Tahami and soon we will be climbing all over the rock as new pictograms, so we are going to enjoy it. And in the coffee production unit we work from the planting to the cup, which is also part of coffee education, so that people learn to drink a good cup of coffee, because sometimes we do not know what coffee is and what is behind that cup of coffee, and in the beer area we produce artisanal beer so that people can also enjoy that drink, which is interesting, what type of beer is produced here in the Echo Park. The coffee, the coffee basically we have three micro lots of coffee, when we arrived here to this territory one of the goals was not to lose what already existed and in the farm as such there was coffee. What we do is that for example we have three micro lots. We manage them independently. The variety that we have here in the park is Columbia variety. 
We have another small area in the lower part that is Costa Rica variety and some Caturo but mostly Colombia variety. How do we work with it? Just recently we acquired a new company that is the part of the whole coffee process, we have the planting, we do the processing and we do the roasting, which is the roasting as such, we do everything here for us. As I always emphasize this a lot, is that we always work with labor from the region, we always work with labor from the region and we do everything with people from here. So here we do the planting by micro lots and we do the processing part. What we see around and then we take it to. La Ceja where we have the place where we have the roaster and the roasting and we do the process of roasting and then obviously we bring it to the park to consume it, to sell it abroad. Well, beer is a beautiful process. It is a very curious story because we have always liked to drink beer, but not that we were going to make it, one always says that it is good to make beer so you don't have to pay for so much beer, but in reality making craft beer is more expensive than buying industrial beer. The process was born because of a friend who came to the park, an ordinary tourist who fell in love with the park and we became good friends, this person's name was Joseph. He is a veteran brewer from Catalonia, and it started as a friendship with the man and between talking and talking and talking the man made beer, he had his own beer plant and ended up teaching us how to make beer and selling the beer plant. So we became very artisanal brewers, not industrial or semi-industrial, that is, we truly became artisanal brewers sharing the culture of Catalonia as such. That is, with the same formulation of recipes, with the same basic principles of making a very homemade beer and a good process, and began this transformation of teaching us to have the culture of making artisanal beer and obviously making the brewery as such and what we have today, which is a 100% artisanal beer. We use the most basic elements of a beer, the main part of a beer which are the malts, which is the barley, then malt, yeast and the next main part which is the hops which are the ones that give the bitterness to the beer, basically with that you can make whatever you want in beer, and from there the transformation of flavors, of coffee, we have experimented with mint beer, which is another of the beers we have in the park as such. It is more experimentation, it is more like combining and mixing because making beers is cooking, it is an art of cooking and mixing ingredients obviously with certain characteristics so that they can be integrated into the recipe. But basically they are those three in water obviously, water that has to be of very good quality. Well, in the natural reserve that I feel, it is like the love of my life. It is like what I always dreamed of and that I am making it come true, it is like seeing it since I was a little boy on paper or in my mind, because I never wrote anything down and today I already have it, it is like a project that has been unified and that every day is moving forward. No, I love it, I love everything. I love working with the communities because I like that the productive units move forward and become agents of local development in different communities because they generate employment, generate community development, there are other spaces that can be used. The contact with nature is fundamental and to see that this has a positive impact and also that people generate economic development in the region. How important is it? I would say the most important thing because if you work from an economic function or work simply for a salary, you will lose that focus, that is, things will not work out the same way. I would say that people should dedicate themselves to what they truly love. 
but I would say that if one persists and is resilient in things and is always present and truly loves things, sooner or later the results will come and everything will go full team. Doing things with love will always give us an excellent result because what you are attracting What message I would have for people? The first thing is how to return more to our roots. That is, we are going to return more to where we come from and where we grew up. That is, to return more to the earth, to truly love the earth to protect it and obviously if we love it, as such, we are going to have conscience to protect it, to take care of our resources, to not vote a simple garbage on the ground. Because one garbage does nothing but if a million people throw a garbage on the ground. It is important that, in this case the Eco Park, to have a specific market niche and look for responsible tourists, that is, when people arrive at the Eco Park from the moment they start to become aware of the tour they are going to implement here in the Eco Park, that tourists know where they are going to go and when they do, that the impact they are going to have is responsible and includes the improvement of the environment. I mean that the tourist does not come only to enjoy but, what impact? Am I going to leave to that space where I am going to enjoy, but that it is an enjoyment in favor of the environment? So the message is to take love for the land, to embrace love for the countryside, for the land, for our roots, that is to say to respect our aborigines, to know who they were because that is very important. Nowadays people are not taught where we come from and maybe that is one of the mistakes that people make nowadays because they grow up and as they do not know where they come from they do not give a damn about what comes from behind and they start to destroy everything or they do not. I sigh with love. Because the mountain calls me impressive and here it is to connect with all this mother. All these elements. So it is love and responsibility for this mission that has been given to us and part of that is also to take advantage of the fact that many people come, so since the territory is there, since the people are there, it is simply to begin to make good use of these spaces such as the hall to be able to begin to generate more awareness. So, it is very important to know the land and to know where we come from and obviously always conserve and preserve, that is, it is not so much a matter of conserving, that is fine, but the idea is to preserve and do new things so that all this is better. I encourage them that when people do any activity, whatever it is, it should be a responsible activity, only me as a producer, as users or services, because we have to look at conservation, look I think that I take advantage now but what I leave to a future generation, because I have to look at what I am going to leave to those people.